Mom, Dad, the latest and greatest game has come out for PC, and my PC won't run it. Can I borrow $3,000 to buy a new PC so we can play? Are you tired of hearing this from your kids? Or maybe you yourself are a gamer and just can't justify spending $3,000 on such luxuries. Um, and it is true that most high-end gaming machines will cost between two and fifty thousand dollars and you add a good VR setup to that and who would buy it, pay that much for it even even the average gaming system is upwards of thousand dollars and I'm sure most of us I know I would would rather make a house payment or even a car payment or pay for school for that matter instead of buying a new gaming PC. We'll just stick with what we have. Well, what if I told you that you could buy a high-end gaming PC or build your own for less than $500 and it would be better than 90% of any of the um, PCs out there that you could build or even buy from your electronic store what if I told you that PC was a Mac a Mac that runs Windows you probably call me crazy well I'm not because it's true so I'm about to show you how you can not only use a Mac to run Windows and Windows games but use a 10 year old Mac that was an all-star in its time to play current games as good or at least almost as good as the best PC out there for around five hundred to a thousand dollars which is a fourth the price of what the same level of performance gaming PC would cost so let me give you a brief history of the Mac Pro and I'll explain how that's possible and what you need to do that so at the height of the personal computer revolution in the 90s there was a trend called Moore's Law and Moore's Law states that the number of transistors on a given electronic device will double every two years and this wasn't so much of a law as it was a perceived principle and it held true for a good 20 30 years until about the late oh probably 2008 2009 somewhere and that's about the time that this Mac Pro came out and ever since we've we've hit the wall and uh, Moore's Law seems to have died the progression of CPUs and just general computer performance has slowed drastically and it by no means is doubling every two years anymore it might be doubling in performance every five to ten years and because it has has slowed down and inflation has actually increased the value of a PC has gone up while the n the number of used parts out there that will do almost as good as new parts have increased so price has gone down but most people don't know it so that also drives prices down um, Apple also has a tendency to over-engineer their products and um, the, the Mac Pro is no exception it is it's a server level product um, and in its original form it won't do that you will need to take an old machine and buy it at current market prices of around $150, $200 and invest another two to $300 in used parts in it. 
and with those two to three hundred and you could invest as much as a thousand in it um, you'll get a machine that will pull a minimum of 50 frames per second if not as high as 60 frames per, per second on a um, on an HD level 1080p not even 1440p um, display and will run oculus and other VR headsets just as well as any PC out there and The best way to do that is probably to go to eBay and buy um, from a, another seller that decided they did just didn't need a Mac Pro anymore and pick it up. Um, you can also buy already upgraded Mac Pros on eBay. You need to watch for those because you don't want that. Um, most of the pre-upgraded ones are by people like myself who upgraded them and are trying to make a profit and you don't save any money that way. Um, you might hire someone like myself to build it for you and see if you can get a good deal that way but the best way to do it is to build it yourself and being the five to six minute speech here I don't have time to walk you step by step down that yellow brick road to the ultimate um, goal of the gaming PC but what I can do is be the wizard at the end that starts you on the journey and meets you at the end. Um, so, to start that, you will first um, need to go to eBay and pick up a third, fourth, or fifth generation Mac Pro. And then upgrade the firmware, um, add a new processor, and upgrade the RAM to a minimum of 32 gigabytes and upgrade the, the uh, graphics card to a more modern graphics card. Um, for more details on exactly what to do with that, follow the links at the end of my, uh, my notes and my bibliography or go to Google and search for $500 Mac Pro gaming PC and that will be the beginning of the yellow brick road and I hope that this has enlightened you and given you information to more successfully buy a cheap PC to do gaming with or even a graphic design PC and thank you for listening and game on